Hello everybody! Ixer here. Welcome back to East Shade. We uh we left ourselves off in this inn here with whoever this is. Hello. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Don't sound too excited. Um I'm gonna talk to you about Nava. I used to live on the mainland years ago. Working as a bricklayer was terrible. Hated every minute. Then my oh. grandma died, bless her soul, and left me a son. Quit my job that day and got the first ship here. For no reason in particular. Just wanted to leave. Bought this dumpy floor for dirt cheap. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now this city's a boom town and I'm living off the reverse mortgage. Just goes to show, act impulsively, and sometimes you get rich. I'll keep that in mind. That's what I've learned anyway. Oh, and have some inheritance. Yeah, okay. Um, tell me about Roots. It's kind of like a club. People go under the city to drink dream teas, relax, unwind. Mm. It used to be open for everyone. But it's pretty locked down now. Some folks have been trying to destroy or steal their tea plants. So they had to get real protective. There was a dream party out on the Salt Spring Coast a few nights ago. Who knows? Maybe you can make the right connections and get a chance to try some. Yeah, do you have a password for that, Chief? Maybe? Um, is that what this place is called? Mm, correct. It doesn't have a name? That is the name. We once had another name. But everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. Whoa. The manager has really let it go. Aren't you the manager? Yeah. Me. Yeah, exactly. Um, why is it dumpy? It's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, I suppose. Okay. Um, why are you so down on your own inn? Eh, I make do. The more occupancy, the more bedding I have to wash. The property value's gone up so much, I'm sitting on a fortune anyway. Yeah, just sell it, exactly. That would require some doing. Not really much of a doer. This guy sounds like me. Okay, um, I don't want a room. Oh. I do want to snoop around and steal stuff though, but I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh, they're all locked. That's not. My FPS is taking a hit in here. Is there exciting stuff going on upstairs? Oh, it's it's bustling. Okay. No? No one wants to talk? Okay. I don't really want to talk to any of you anyway. Well, this guy looks like he wants to talk, yeah? No. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. That was awkward. I'll just steal that from your table. All right. Well, um, this looks very much like one of the inns used in Skyrim, doesn't it? What was that? What was that? I just had an icon pop up very briefly. Sit. Where can I sit? Control? 
Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll just join you. Okay. Um. Hi. Boring conversation anyway. Okay, so nothing to do up there. At least not yet. Perhaps another time. Let's get out of here. Okay, where are we going next? I guess we're going right down this road. It gets awfully dark in places. Uh, the lighting is off in, in this game a little bit, I feel. Fuck up, brother. Well, then... We'll go around all these, then we'll head inside there, and then we'll go to the market in the back. Save our goddess. The cultist group known as the Roots promotes questionable activity and waste of holly leaves. Their actions contribute to an unsafe city and risk invoking the wrath of our beloved goddess. Do your part. Report cultists. Symbol of evil. Report suspicious Roots activity to the Shays Temple, located on the Tiffmore Bluffs. And receive goddesses, goddess TM's blessing. <laughs> Sounds a little goofy to me. Oh, I've already gone through here. All right, let's head up in here. What's up in there? Wait, that's not the market, is it? I've talked to you. I've not been up here though. Okay, here we go. There are a lot more monkeys than other animal creatures. What is that stone? I want to loot it. What on earth is up here? Also, it's 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 eerily quiet. Oh, the library. Okay, maybe we'll have a book or two to read in here. I don't know why my FPS is taking a, a dump. It's annoying. Ha! History of uh, Navian tea. The floral scent of tea fields is uh one of all of Navians think of fondly. And look forward to in the rainy season. Though much of the agriculture in Nava has turned to thank you music has turned to pea farming, the Navian steppes host the island's largest tea fields. With some plants over 55 years old, each farmer has their own methods for drying and blending teas. But the most basic recipe for a classic East Shade brew is a secret mix of three different varieties of tea leaf. Legend says that a wealthy merchant arrived in the city during a drought. Rather than disappoint the merchant with only a single cup of weak tea, the farmers combined their leaves and created a new taste unlike any other. Imported teas in recent years have brought new flavors and variety to the market, much to the delight of tea drinkers the island over. They do love their tea, eh? See how weirdly dark it is in here? What time is it? Alright, it's getting dark outside too. Like, I can barely see this bear's face. Always good to see a new face. Let me know if I can help you with anything. How ironic. Okay. Uh, tell me about Nava. I love it here. There's really no part of town I'd be worried to let my two daughters play unsupervised. I moved here right out of college when my longtime resident aunt wrote to me about a job opening in the library. It was quite a great distance for me to move, considering it was a bit of a paltry opening at the time. But 20 years later, as head librarian, I can't say I have any regrets. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll see you then. Very enthusiastic librarian. I'll just steal that wax. He's browsing. Yeah, I know this is going to be very dark for you guys. I'm sorry. 
Structures of Eastshade. The signal towers dotted across the island were some of the first large structures built on Eastshade. Keepers stationed at each tower were trained to communicate in code with neighboring communities, sharing news of illness, emergency, and celebration. After trails were carved and literacy spread, the towers were decommissioned, though many remained standing. The first tower was built in Old Lindo, and was also used to communicate with ships off the coast. <laughs> Wish we had one. The tower keeper often signaled passing vessels to request international food items and medicines, which were then distributed to neighboring villages. Gotcha. I think it's about time for me to get, get a room. It is, isn't it? it? Will I die like where I am right now? All right, I'm not. I'm not risking it. I'm gonna head back, and we'll come back here in the morning. Especially considering it should be lighter, I would assume. Maybe you guys can see better. We're in the open. I have no idea if this exposes me to the coldness. So far, so good. How much money do I have? I have thirty dollars. All right. Hopefully, I can afford the room. I think it's this way. Oh gosh. How come I'm freezing yet these people are not? Alright, alright. Hey! It won't let me click on them! Alright, so here we are. Back in the in the dumpy inn. Um so the game respawned me. I, I died, like, right here at his feet. Game respawned me back in Lindo. And not only that, it 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 um, it um kind of froze on me a little bit. So I had to restart, make my way back here, and here I am. Back inside. Nava. And we're going to go back to the library. That look cool. We're going to check out the library and then we're going to head in there to the market. Hopefully it'll be light enough to, to look around. Perhaps, maybe. No, it's still a little dark. Stutter. I would I would paint things, but I'm I'm worried about using up my my stuff because so so many people have requested paintings. I'd rather save it for them. I, I'm just going to snoop in this place. I had a dream last night. I can't remember the details now, but when I woke up, everything was different. I don't know how else to say it, but suddenly the sun felt brighter, and the air is so sweet, like it's been scented by roses. I look out my window for what. Uh, might have been the first time. I never realized how beautiful the city looks from here. I have so many ideas, so many things I want to write about. I wrote 11 pages this morning at the tea house, and they were good pages. I just read back through them. I'm off to work now, but I can't wait until this evening. Look at all this wax. They said the wax was rare, but look at all this wax! Holy cow, there's four in here. I don't even, uh, I don't even know what it's used for yet, do I? Speaking of, can I, can I do some crafting here? Boards and fabric. Do I need to use the fabric on anything else? I don't think so. So I got five canvases then. I still need that sealant that I get from Jerkface. Whoa. Alright, I'll go in there after I go around. Locked. At the market? I think so. Oh, hello! Round there. Then a straight line here. Yes, that looks better. Okay. Very odd conversation to walk in on. 
I'll just snoop in your... You've got. Not really. Why are you anthropomorphized? But he is not. Hello! Trade here, trade there. So many folk are scurrying about. I don't scurry. Are you a traitor? A traitor? I suppose you could say that. A traitor of sorts. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at all those shiny things coming in the markets. Sad day when my legs stopped working quite so well. Haven't made it down to the lower level in some time. Uh, sounds like an exciting life. At least you have a nice view. I don't know if I want to say that. That's too bad. Say, I heard from some other folks that you're one of the most helpful people in Eastshade. How would it? How's Do you that... have time to help an old woman? How does that word get around? Depends. Excellent, excellent. You and I, young friend. I can tell we're gonna make a fine pair. You know nothing about me, lady. Partners in crime. Already bid farewell to your scruples, eh? Been a long time since I had a partner of any sort. Oh, I feel ten years younger. This is maybe I'm embarrassed quickly. to admit. I left a precious box up north in the caverns. You know the howling caverns on the Tiefmoor Bluffs? Uh I must have left it there. Uh sounds dangerous. You left a box in the caverns. It was years ago, mind you, that I left it behind. Longer, actually. I was still a young girl. Spent time playing all over Eastshade. That box was one of my favorite possessions. Passed down from my mother. Maybe you shouldn't have left it then. Why didn't you look for it before? I must have spent hours searching those caverns. Dunno if the sea swept it out or if someone came and took it. Suppose I became a touch more sentimental in my later years. I just want to see it again. So you don't even know if it's still there. Well, I know if I found it. It has some decoration, you know. Not too much. It's a rather simple wooden box, I think. Okay. Uh, you don't know exactly what it looks like? It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't remember all the details, but there can't be many boxes in that cavern. Not to worry. I have confidence you'll find it, child. Away with you. I don't know why you have confidence in me. I don't know. You don't know who I am. Um, I'll do what I can. Um, don't you have other things to say to I'm me? I'm rooting for you, child. Uh, well, of course Living you Living vicariously through you in your quest to retrieve my lost box. Yep, we'll get a leg up on that. <clears throat> um... Is that money? Okay. That's happened a time or two. What have we here? A new face. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Zara, assistant research scientist here at the university. Oh, neat. Do you know of Melek? I do not. He's the merchant selling the so-called elixir of life down in the market. Okay. Uh, no. I have a favor to ask of you. Okay. Do you think you could perhaps go to Melek's shop in the market and buy me one of said elixirs? I'll buy it from you at twice what it's worth. Uh, maybe. Tell me why you want one. I'd like to run some tests on it. I've heard the claims, and let's just say I'm skeptical. Okay. This elixir of life seems to be quite a trendy product in the city. And if this Melek fellow is cheating folks out of their hard-earned glowstones, I'd like to know the truth of it. Okay, um, why don't you do it? Well, you see, I've earned a bit of a reputation here in Nava as the resident skeptic. I just like to know the science of things. I tried to buy one from him. He told me that with my closed-minded attitude, it would never work on me and refused to sell me one. The obvious tactic of a charlatan, if you ask me. 
Yep, sounds like a flim flam man. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Fantastic. You can find me here just about any time. I'm always working. <sighs> uh, tell me about roots. They're a group that highly appreciates the consumption of dream teas. The teas are made with herbs that stimulate dreams. It's quite interesting how the chemicals work on the brain. They are safe in moderation, the largest risk being that when sleeping with dream teas, one gets very little rest, since the brain is actually more stimulated than during the day. The latest science actually considers it a form of exercise for your brain. Okay. You guys all are on drugs. Let's just put it that way. Um... So, are, is that is that actually glowstone? Is that what they look like? Um... <clears throat> Ooh, that stutter. Happens when I turn my... Turn my head quickly. Hello? Sorry, you can't go up there right now. We're doing some renovations. Um, but I'm special. When? <sighs> Hard to say. Maybe in ten months, give or take? Could be longer if we hit any delays. You're saying that you were going to stand there for ten months and not let anybody through. Basically never. If you're here to visit, yeah. You won't be seeing it this trip. Sorry about that. Can I sleep for ten months? Can I hibernate? Uh, any way you let me through? Well, you need a pass. Any official from the university should be able to give you one. Aha! I know what to do. Have a good one. I shall help the lady who wants the elixir. I think I go down this way? And, um, she will give me a letter of recommendation. I'm sure of it. Alright, time to hit up the market. How'd they get those huge stone statues up there? I'm not trusting any kids anymore. Welcome to Yevany's Art Gallery and Supply. Oh. And before you ask, no, I'm not Yevany. And if you came to request a commission, unfortunately we can't help with that either. Yevany is totally backed up at the moment, but we do have painting supplies in stock. Okay. Um, you take commissions. Yes, but we're full, as I said. Normally folks just need to write down what they want, and Yevany will paint it for them. The best painter in Nava, that Yevany. Well, huh. She's been painting her whole life, and doing commissions for at least 40 years. These days, she's spending more and more of her time on personal work. Good for her, I say. But still... We can't keep up with commissions like we used to, and demand is only growing. Sounds like... You could use some help. Oh, are you a painter? We've been looking for someone to help with the workload, but so far no one's been up to Yevany's standards. Do you have a portfolio I can look at? Do I? Show him the paintings! Wow, your work is so detailed. I know. You should show this to Yevany. She lives in the common tower. That's the big round building in the middle. Um, you might just be the painter we need. She'll absolutely want to see at least three paintings, though. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? Common tower? I'm sorry. I'm I'm only looking to deal with with high folk here. He has canvas and fabric. Okay, I don't need that though. Um, how many paintings do I have? Oh, I've only got two. Have you given any thought to sharing a portfolio with us? Um... Well, come on back when you have a portfolio to show. We'd love to take a look at your work. Yevany likes to see at least three pieces. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? I, I do not. Alright, I need I need a third painting. Let's, um, let's take care of that right away. Um, surely I could just do something, like, over here, right? See, look at that. That's very... Very beautiful. Alright. Um.
let's go with... Okay. Where did... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> that, uh, that easel placement is a little jank, isn't it? I got three paintings, yo. Have you given any thought to sharing your portfolio? Wow. Yo, you m anything I can help with? Need some- Wow. Yo, you m anything I can help with? Oh. I guess- I guess I need to show it to... Movie Heavy, or whoever his name is. He's up in here? I don't remember seeing him in here. Wait. The- the girl with the paintings... Up in here, that's not who it is, is it? It probably is. I don't remember where she is. I think she was back this way. Ooh, that leg. Not that person. Not that one. This one! Red? Or... Oh. Yes, just a touch of orange. Oh, hello there. Uh, I must have left the door unlocked again. Can I help you? Nobody freaks out that people just wander in. Um, I heard you're searching for a master artist. It's true, but I don't hire just anyone. So, let's see what you've got. Well, these look fantastic. So much detail and... What accurate depictions. Obviously. You've got some skill here. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me I that. spent years honing my skill, sharing my work with the people of Nava. But these days, I'm no longer interested in realism. Oh. I love the life of flowing through abstract art. Unfortunately, there's not much interest for that style right now. Well, sounds like a problem. Um, you spent years... Mastering your craft, I have spent days. Um, well, that's too bad. It is. I'd like to show people that there's more to the world than what we see with our eyes. Anyway, your portfolio is exactly the kind of thing my customers love. I mean, my customers. How about this? I'm going to shut down my commissions. They've been leaving me uninspired this past year anyway. I'll pass on any new requests to you. Then I can really focus my time on these spots and blobs. Are you going to put your name on my paintings, though? Notice how um how high her audio is. It's peaking a little bit. Okay, I'll tell Art Dealer the situation. Our customers write down their requests in a ledger back in the gallery. Take a look through and see if there are any requests you'd like to paint. Um, wait, where? Down in the market? Some blue here. Green. No, yellow. Can I jump? No. <laughs> um, I assume... Oh, that stutter. I assume that the ledger was, was with the guy down in the market. I would like to make a little bit more cash. I also still need to get the password to get into Roots. We haven't talked to everybody yet. So, sounds like you've managed to impress the great Yevany. How would you know? I thought you might. Your work is excellent and just the style our clients are looking for. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of commissions just waiting around. We keep them all in a ledger at the back. Take a look and see if you're up for any of them. When you finish a commission, just bring it back to me. I'll ensure you get paid and that the client gets the artwork. We're glad to have you join the gallery. Sounds lovely. A simple chicken! My daughter thinks chickens make for tacky decor, but you know what? I like chickens. I don't care what the latest uh, dos do's and don'ts are. Don't, no, we, we, we need a little... Chickens are adorable! I like a chicken rendered in stunning detail. I could see a watermill every day in my living room. I just don't see how I could be sad. I suppose I could walk to the south side of, of Nava to see one, but walking is just the worst. 
Can I accept them all, or do I have to do one at a time? I need a, an artwork of a truly sad individual. They're very potion-illicit, an air of melancholy, deep enough to move even the most stunning stone heart among this. Is this the innkeeper? Those little... Those little cob houses are dreamy. I want a painting of a cute one. All alone in the country. See, this is dangerous, I think. So here's here's what what I what would happen to me. I read this, the first thing that comes to mind is the innkeeper. So I go and do a painting of the innkeeper, and I come back and they're like, nah, this guy's not sad enough. At that point, I've wasted a full full on canvas. So it worries me. I'm gonna do it anyway, but it worries me. It also worries me that it's it's the most expensive one here. And it's literally down the road. That seems like it doesn't match up with reality. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what cob houses the houses they're talking about. Chicken sounds easy. Wait. Okay. You've accepted some commissions. You can view your active commissions at any time. The new button on your painting menu or by pressing C. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. All right, cool. I can get all of them. Sounds good to me. Hello. Do you want to buy any spices? It's a little like dark in pepper here. Pepper or whatever this is. <laughs> I'm friends with Evelina. Oh, yeah? She's pretty great, isn't she? We met at the bread stand where she works. I really like bread, so I'm over there a lot. Okay. Um, I'm new. Yeah? That's pretty cool, I guess. You like to travel? This is very loud. I have to travel to Lindo every week to get supplies. It's fine over there, but I wish I didn't have to go all the time. It's kind of like a creepy ghost town out there. Um, you must have fun sometimes. Yeah, I mean, me and Evelina have been hanging out a lot. She's really great. Like the other day, she made me a special loaf of bread in the shape of a flower. She's just so cool. In case you guys don't remember, this is the girl that the girl at the front of Ishe, like when we first walked in, like one of the first people we met to, uh, met. She's like, oh, oh, she's so great. I think I'm in love. This is the girl. Um, where's your favorite place? There's this cool hot spring on the Salt Spring Coast. I used to go there when I was a kid. It's all the way at the end of the beach, and no one really knows about it. It's a perfect place for picnics. Aha! Sounds nice. Yeah, maybe I'll take a trip out there soon. Well, I should probably get back to pretending to know about spices. Oh my god, hold on. Let's get out of here. That music was so loud. Where is it coming from? Let's see if I could talk to her from back here, where it's not as loud. Let me know if you need any weird-tasting ground-up plants. All right, that's a little better. Yeah, I bought one. I knew it was a toxic tuber. It was pretty obvious. I already used it in a ritual, so you can't buy it back. Awkward. Why didn't you say something then? There are a group of people who like drinking this special tea because it makes you have better dreams. They hang out in the cistern under the city, but sometimes they have meetings on the Salt Spring Coast Beach. Ooh. My brother loves drinking the tea, but it's so boring. I mean, it just makes you dream. You're asleep the whole time. Some people like dreams. I think they're kind of like the roots. They love dream teas too, but they believe only their gods should be able to drink them. Um, Let me know if you need any weird tasting. Yeah, I don't care. Um, so, where is this place at, then? Down here. Oh! We've been here already, remember? We saw that guy that was just kind of standing at the beach. I don't remember what he said to me. Alright, good to know. How about you? Nothing? Welcome, friend! Would you like a guaranteed long and healthy life? I heard about you. Zara wants to test your no no. I I I I don't I don't want yeah. My elixir will fortify you with the strength and vigor. 
Imagine a longer life for you and your loved ones. Sourced from hot springs around the island, this water is guaranteed to give you an extra 20 years, at least. Sounds like a flim flam. How do I know it works? Some of my longtime customers are practically living history books. They've been drinking the elixir for years, and not a day have they aged. Wouldn't it be hilarious if he was not lying? Um, is this backed by any studies? Of course! Just look at all these happy people. They love it, and it works perfectly for them. Each of my customers is a testament to the strength of this powerful elixir. Fire so, what do you say? If I ask so many questions, he may not sell it to me. The water is sourced from the life-giving springs of East Shade. Oh, it's kind of expensive. Um, but I can afford it. Okay. Hello. Interested in a book? Uh, sure. What do you got? Fish of the Fellstream River and classic Shady and Teas. That would break me. I'll be back. I'll buy those, but but once I have more money. I want to save this money in case something interesting pops up. Is that the guy outside that's causing that ruckus? I think it is. Her. 